Hey there, so today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Minisform UM780 XTX. Now you can pick up the system bare bones and you can actually get some pretty nice savings if you do it like that. So I'm going to show you how you can actually upgrade this thing very easily. One of the things that I like the most about Minisform systems recently is that they use these magnetic tops so that you don't actually have to destroy the legs to get in there. Not the case with all of their units, but the ones that actually have an easily removable top are really welcome. Now immediately as soon as you get in here, you get greeted by this LED panel right here that also houses the SSD cooling system. Now all you have to do is just unscrew these four screws in the corners. They are pretty long screws, but really the three Threading is actually only small, so once it's actually loosened up, you can pretty much pull out the entirety of the thing out of there. Once you pretty much end up doing this, you're already pretty much all the way in here. If you got the bare bones unit, removing this top cover here is going to be very easy. Easy. If you already have an SSD in there, it might be a little bit tougher just because of the fact that it has thermal pads pre-applied underneath there. While removing this panel, I want you to be very careful because there are some very tiny cables that are holding on there, if you can see right here. Essentially, what I always end up doing is by where the RAM sticks are here, I end up popping that off. And once you have that off, you can pretty much get into the system. All right, so if you've got the bare bones unit, it's going to look like this inside. So what we're going to be putting in here is going to be a total of six terabytes worth of SSD storage. The first thing that's going to be going in here is, of course, this SK Hynix Platinum P4. 41 NVMe a very well regarded NVMe drive. This is a two terabyte unit and this is going to be our boot drive and it's going to be absolutely perfect for this kind of system. You pretty much get really great performance while also still having decent capacity. Now it has two NVMe SSD slots here and be sure to remove the screw when it is pre-installed on here. That's what you're going to be using to retain this down. And of course the second drive that I'm going to be putting in here is this Silicon Power UD90 4 terabyte by Gen 4 SSD. Definitely a cheaper SSD that is mostly about capacity and less about raw performance. But since it's our second drive and it's mostly just going to be game storage, it's going to be perfectly fine for that application. And just like that, we now have six terabytes worth of storage to work with on here. Now, of course, when it comes to upgrading the RAM, you're going to be wanting to get the fastest supported speed, which is 5,600 mega transfers per second. I have a 32 gigabyte unit here, and pretty much you just pop it in right here. You just line it up, push down until the retention clips click, and you're good to go. Now, the most difficult part is for sure going to be getting this little cable reattached here because it's extremely small. In general, it is the worst aspect of working with this system. But once you get all of that done, all you have to do is reseat the shroud up here and put the screws back in and you're pretty much done. Now again, if you're putting in the SSDs for the first time, be sure to peel the plastic that is on the thermal pads. And once you do that, if you ever get back in there, be aware that those thermal pads are there and they are going to be a little bit sticky. You're gonna be holding out on a little tight onto those SSDs. So you might need a little bit more force to pop off this shroud again. But getting in here and upgrading the entire system is actually extremely easy. And on paper, the system should be able to support two eight terabyte NVMEs and 96 gigabytes of RAM. Now it's not on the official spec sheet, but there really isn't any reason for the system to not support that. So if you'd like to see that tested on here, be sure to drop a like. Let me know down below if you'd like to see that, because I am very tempted to pick up a 96 gigabyte RAM kit for this system. System. But I hope you found this useful. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.